Good evening, I'm Nicole Daly and you're watching the Yale Daily Minute. Faculty and administrators are questioning the fairness of the treatment of former Chief of Cardiology Michael Simons after allegations of sexual misconduct were leveled against him. In an interview with the Yale Alumni Magazine last month, Simons claimed that his treatment during last semester's sexual harassment scandal was profoundly unfair and an example of a lynch mob mentality. But numerous faculty members interviewed have claimed these sentiments are misplaced. Simons was removed from his directorships in November 2014. Though the construction work on the two new residential colleges has been underway since November, and administrators have maintained for over a year that the formal groundbreaking on the project would occur in February 2015, the university has quietly changed the date of the ceremony to April. University President Peter Salovey cited convenience in scheduling and weather. Salovey dismissed the speculation that the groundbreaking's rescheduling was connected to the announcement of the college names. Some students have criticized Yale's policies on withdrawal and readmission, which they say discourage students from temporarily leaving school. But while much attention has focused on the stigmas and technicalities of the withdrawal process itself, some have voiced concerns about what happens after they decide to take time off and financial costs associated with trying to return. Students interviewed described the process as inconsistent and confusing. That's your news in a minute. See tomorrow's paper for more.